the number of collections of R objects taken from a set of N choices. Is this thing here? This is what we call a combination. Note that this is that differs from permutations in that we don't care about the order. We just are taking a collection of R objects. The ordering of it does not matter. So we have this is N C R. The C stands for choose. So N choose R. How many ways can we take N objects and choose R from those N options? Okay. Um, so you'll notice here the n factorial over n minus r factorial, that is the permutation form. And this extra r factorial, that's going to eliminate the, the different orderings of the same objects for us. Okay. Let's look at some examples. In how many ways can three letters be chosen from the letters A, B, C, D, and E? So we have five options here. So we're going to have five and we're choosing uh, we're choosing three letters. So five choose three. And uh, well five choose three that's uh, that's five factorial over three factorial and then five minus three factorial. So of course uh, that's well that's two factorial so three factorial times two factorial. And then we start to simplify. So 5 factorial, we'll, we'll expand that and we'll stop at the next highest, which is the 3 factorial. 3 factorial. And then 2 factorial, which is just 2. And these 3 factorials cancel and we get 20 over 2, which is 10. So there are 10 ways to pick 3 of these letters. Again, the ordering doesn't matter. So in, 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 um, in other words, if I were to choose A, uh, B, and E, that would be the same as choosing B, A, and E. Okay, those are the same three letters, so those count as the same collection of three letters.